All right, we've gotten some intelligence back that the despicable First Order is up to something. Wow, I could have gathered that intelligence. Um, I could have gotten that intelligence while I was in the bowels of the f***ing Falcon. So what else you got? Uh... That, that's that's it. That That's it. Look, look, look. The last time we had someone fly a little too close to get any kind of intelligence, they were blown out of the sky. So, you know, we're down to 28 people now. We got to be careful what we do. But um, I'm fairly sure that the new Supreme Leader <clears throat> is uh, up to a lot of no good. <clears throat> If only we had someone who could gather intelligence in a safer sort of manner. Hooray! 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 Hello, Ray? Hmm? Were you even listening? Sorry, I was, um... I, uh, had... Um, I mean, a, uh... I have to go pee. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going back to work. You're looking particularly hot today. Well, it is kind of stuffy in here. Alright, so, I've gotten some intel that the loathsome resistance, as you like to call them, is on the move. The whole of the resistance can fit into a ship. Well, they have a base, but sometimes they move from that base and go elsewhere. A base? We did not receive any intel that they're on a base. You just know this because you've been canoodling with the scavenger. <gasps> See what you've done? Now I have to kill Mataka. Are you proud of yourself? No, no killing Mataka. Look at him. Who's he going to tell? I think he's gone mute. And I need him for personal business. Oh, uh, yeah. There are some things I don't need to know. Uh, wait here. I'll be right back. Wait here. What, what are we, his personal lapdogs? That is what we are to him, isn't it? You, take your fingers out of your ears, Mataka. Okay, so am I going to call her or is she going to call me? I guess I'll call her. The gentleman called the ladies, right? Where is he? What is taking him so long to dial a f***? Oh! Hello? Hi. Did you feel the force too? Oh yeah, I was in the middle of a meeting and uh, I had to get out of there. So was I! No. Yeah, they were blabbering on about something something first order, something something. Yeah, I was blabbering on about something something resistance something. <laughs> oh, so, um, you having a good day? I am now. Stop! But before this it was just, you know... Same old crap. Oh, I know. It's so hard not having anyone to talk to about, you know, stuff. Not that I can't talk to you. It's it's, it's about you that I want to talk about, so... <laughs> yeah, you need, like, one of those girlfriend people that you go and have cocktails with and talk about your man friends. Exactly! Have you been watching movies? Maybe a little. I'm trying to understand... You know, the females a little better. So, um... Did you have any ideas for our next date? Yeah, but they're mostly inappropriate ones. Ben! I know. You've woken up that filthy, filthy person in me. <laughs> oh, barf, man. Can't I pipe in to throw up? No, get out! Oh, come on, let us listen. Let us listen and pipe in about us. God damn disgusting you are. It's not even hot or anything. This is just lame. We can show you how to talk dirty. Get out! Do you want me to, like, throw them through the forest? No! 
If I want that done, I can do it myself. Okay, but if you change your mind, just let me know. <sighs> yeah, so ideas for our next date. Uh, yeah. Um, were you still thinking about a romantic dinner in? Um, I experimented a little bit with cooking. And it really didn't go very well at all, so I think we should probably do something else. I mean, if you had some ration packs, I could cook that up in a jiffy. But that's not very romantic. I haven't tried anything, you know, that's not processed. I can just hire someone to cook for us if we want to go that route, but then we have a third person hanging out in the room. I know, is that, is that safe? And yeah, awkward. You know, as strange as it sounds, I, I do feel rather grateful for Poe helping us at, at, the, at the end of our day. Okay, I'm petting it. All right, now that's good. See, not scary, is it? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's not so scary anymore. Oh, God. It's a, yeah. I, 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 uh. Poe, he can't talk. Is that normal? Yeah, it means you're doing a good job, Ray. That, that was... That was very helpful. And yeah, maybe you two will actually become friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think we should try a double date again? On purpose? Yeah. Like with Poe and... Oh god, not Phasma again. Um, yeah, I guess Finn would be alright as long as he doesn't get too drunk. Would he even be willing to go on a date with... Me there? He'd probably like that better than being left at home and having Poe go on a date with his other significant other. <laughs> you were going to say girlfriend, weren't you? <clears throat> well, Finn is kind of like his girlfriend. He's so whiny and he wants flowers and jewelry. I mean, I don't even do that. Yet. Does he leave him like, you know, 30 voicemails if he doesn't hear from him, you know, after five <laughs> yes! minutes? Yes! Yes, he does. He, like, messages him all the time. And, like, he, uh, but he also, like, leaves him little sweet notes. Now, Finn used to, like, have the hots for you, right? Yeah, I think he's gotten over that now. Because that would have been a strange dynamic, knowing what we know now about him. He, he would have wanted you to bring him flowers. He <laughs> would have been leaving you notes. <laughs> no, you're so right. I think that, yeah, that's just Finn. And you would have had to break it off because... Because you're I'm not, not a, a lesbian. lesbian. Exactly. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? You both said it at the same time. F*** y'all. Oh, you are not getting invited on our next date. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Fine, I'll be good. Please, take me. I want to go. I want to no, go. No, oh, come on. No, Let me go. No, Let me no, go. I want to go. No, I want to go. No, I want to go. No, I wanna no, go. No, fine. <laughs> Yay. Hey, buddy, come back in here. I got something to show you. Okay, they are not helping to convince me to take them out on a double date. I'm already f***ing annoyed and... We're just having a phone call. Well, a lot of my inappropriate ideas go out the window as soon as we bring them on a double date, so... But do we want that? I don't know. How inappropriate do you want to get? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we want to have a date first, but... I mean, it's not really a date if you're just getting together to have sex. That's just hooking up, right? I, I've, I've gone at that much. <laughs> well, being that we're so socially awkward and... Not very good at any activity that involves us being around other humans, creatures, or droids. What would you suggest we do? Um... Um... I know we had talked about roller ice skating, but after the bowling uh, incident, I'm kind of frightened to try anything that involves rolling. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that so much anymore. Um, look, let's, let's just try dinner again. Well, you know, we can go find a quiet restaurant in the outer room where no one will recognize us.
Oh, the food is so bad out there. We'll look it up. We'll see if we can find something that has more than three stars. Okay. Or at least three. A minimum of three. Right. And are we bringing Poe and Finn, or is that a bad idea? <sighs> I don't even know anymore. Now, now that you told him he can come, he's going to be on your back all day long about it. Oh, God, yeah. If I, well, if I take it back, oh, my life won't be worth living. Well, we may as well just bring them. <sighs> okay, well, maybe I ought to go um, get back to this meeting, whatever the hell it was about. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass we have to talk on these crappy phones, but, you know, the force just drops out too much. I know, it's so rude. I'm like, I was talking to you for like ten minutes, and I was just laying down with my eyes closed, and I'm like, why hasn't he said anything? And I look up, and you're gone! And I'm like, great, how long was I talking to myself? I know. Uh, it happens to me, too. I mean, I was in the shower, and you were there, and everything was great, and then I said this very um, embarrassingly lovey thing, and you weren't there. Well, I had suggested us getting naughty in the shower that one time, and then it was dead silence, and I was horrified, and then I just realized that it dropped out. Yeah. And then I didn't feel like being naughty anymore. Mm. That's, a, that's a tragedy. All right, what were we... So what y'all talking about? What was y'all talking about, huh? Yeah, I love you. Oh, no, I, I love you. Know. you oh, no, I love you. Oh, I little, love you. You're you my little, my little dark giant cutie pie. I want to kiss you in your nether regions. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Patreon sponsors. B.B. Drucker, Lieutenant Dafeld Mataka, Wendy Cologne, Isabel Vladislos, Michelle Edwards, Louise, Zenial Star Wars fan, Julia, Angela Mittner, Sarah, Super 63, Danielle Marie, Liv T, Georgia, Ali Graham, Catherine Blackburn, Milena Ibarra, Ben Solo. And finally, Raylo Forever. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. I'm so awkward. <laughs>